All you pretentious linguists, right, you know who the fuck you are, right, but this is something that's just pissed me off recently, because you're all cunts. They, you sort of slip up, you slip up and say something, so these are English as their first language people that have a second language, like Spanish. Spanish is going to be the fucking example today. This is a memory, not an anecdote. Anyway, is that the same thing? I don't care. They slip up and they'll say something in their second language, just by accident. Just like, I can speak this. Like, oh, I'm just going to put it out there that I can speak this. Right, I was at the pub. Uh... I met this guy at the pub the other day. We're out. He's been in Spain for a fucking three days or something. I don't fucking know. He comes up. Asks to borrow a cigarette off me. Yeah, that's fine. He says, uh... Give us a fag. So I'm like, well, that's a bit rude. You know, give me... Give me a couple of extra words on there. Specifically one, you know. You know, the old magic word. No, no, not cunt. No. Please. That's all I wanted. He says, uh, can I have one of them fags? I'm like, right, you're not fucking getting it here. Like, small children understand the concept of me fucking saying, what's the magic word? You massive bellend cunt. So, five minutes later, he's still not come out with it. He still wants this cigarette. He's still asking for it. He's just going about it in the wrong way. Now, I don't think I'm being a dickhead. Probably am. But I don't think I'm being a dickhead at this point. And uh, I finally managed to get a please out of him. But the pretentious twat says, por favor. Which is please in Spanish, you uncultured fucks. Now I'm like, what What do you mean? Use my and your native fucking language, you massive cunt. You're not having this cigarette based on that. That's a dick move. That's just being a twat. Like, what the fuck is the point? Oh, por favor. No, fuck you. Fuck you. In English. Yeah, I understand what you mean, but you're trying to make a fucking point. Go fuck yourself. Massive cunts. So that's that. I feel better. How does that make you feel? Fuck you. So... Right, we've got more of a plan this week. Last week, someone said it was pretty fucking confusing. Like, the the video that was on was different to the shit that I was rambling about. So I figured today, we've got the screen cap on. We're just going to fucking hit the shit up so that you can actually tell what I'm doing. Because nobody knows what those fucking hoodies were. But trust me, they were bad. Uh, the video that was on is a, a manga that I'm doing. I, I'm not doing it. I'm completely stealing it. But I'm going to turn it into a video, do the audio, all sorts of shit like that. You, you'll see. But I figure that I'm going to... If I do screen caps of that, I'm going to put them into a different playlist. And just put them out there. And maybe like have it as updates to explain what I'm doing. I might fucking not. Who knows? I don't give a shit. You don't give a shit. So... But that project is taking forever. I just need as much time as possible. So that's that's what was going on there. So this week we have structure. We have we don't have structure. I fucking wrote a couple of things down that annoyed me over the week. But I've done fact checking because here's the big thing. This is gonna be this is gonna be the big topic today because this pisses me off. Monster fucking energy drink. What's wrong with you people? Yeah, you, who drinks the fucking monster energy drink. What the fuck is wrong with you? Right. It turned me on to this when I found... It took me a fucking while to find this. But I found shit like... Come on, zoom in, you stupid cunt. Uh, shit like this. This was the thing. Vitamin B12, right here. 
13 micrograms, which is 500% of your fucking guideline daily amount. Right, what the fuck? The ear, oh, yeah, but it says 100% on the left. You need to shut up because that's per 100 mil. Are you telling me there's five servings in one of those monster cans? No, you're fucking not. You don't come. So we've got 13 micrograms, five days worth of your vitamin B12. So I thought, what the fuck? I already don't like them. I mean, they make me crash like fuck. So I don't drink them anyway. And then I find this shit out. I'm like, this this seems fucking dangerous. Five, five times the amount of your max per day. So I start fucking, this is where I did my fact checking. And what we've learned, what we, we're going to go science today. And what we've learned about vitamin B12 is that it's like a, I think it, it fights infection and disease and shit. So it's like just regular vitamins. It's just a normal fucking normal shit. But it turns out that you can't, you can't OD on it. So the... The 2.4 micrograms that you're actually allowed are all that you'll actually take. Oh, there we've got 2.5 micrograms, but whatever. 2.5 micrograms that you're allowed, you only uh, synthesize that every 24 hours. Now, the rest, you just throw away. So the other 400%... You just throw... Your body just disposes of it. It doesn't use it. You can't RD on it. This shit's actually pretty good. It increases blood flow to the inner ear and the brain, which you cunts need. But, that like, it can prevent Alzheimer's and shit like that. So it turns out that vitamin B12's pretty fucking cool. Like, we like B12. So now I'm sort of thinking, damn, should I, like, get me some monster in my belly? And then I'm like, no, it's fucking dog shit. So then I thought, well, you know, I'm a bit stubborn. I've been proven wrong here. I fucking hate monster drinks. So I'm, I'm sort of, I'm a bit raw because I've been proven wrong. And I'm like, oh, you fucking bastards. Turns out that it's actually good for you. But it isn't. Because up here, we've got this little beast. Niacin. Vitamin B3. This is the cunt, two hundred and sixty-six percent. Who forgot to put the fucking, who forgot to put the fucking bracket here? You dumb, dumb cunts. Did you write this? You fucking, you must have. You fucking cunt. So, niacin is. It's not all bad. It's like for digestion and normal shit. You know, whatever fucking vitamins do it probably makes your fucking hair grow. To create your jizz or something like that. I don't fucking know. Now, of this shit, we can take, I think, 16... Yes, yeah, so 16 milligrams a day is your guideline. Because 8.5, that's 53%. We're just going to fucking round it down. Instead of being bitches like you. So... Well... We, we need to look at this one. 266%. So that's fucking two and a half days worth. Now this shit is not all bad. Like I said, it can prevent depression and stuff like that. But if you exceed 50 milligrams a fucking day, yeah, I'm talking to you who have at least two in a day, you've now exceeded it. One and a fucking quarter can, you've exceeded it. You motherfuckers who drank 11 in a day... What the fuck are you doing? That's just... That's far too much. So... If you're drinking 11 in a day... While you're fucking... Playing Call of Duty or whatever the fuck... That's 55 days worth of B12... Which we're not too bothered about. We don't give a shit about that. But I, I can't even work it out for fucking... Two and a half days worth... We're getting the fucking calculator out. We're just doing it. Where is it at? Right, so... Two and a half days worth... Times... Eleven... 
is 27 days worth of uniacin in 24 hours. Now, 50 microgram, 50 milligrams can cause side effects, which is like fucking the usual vomiting, diarrhea, losing your fucking dick, general shit. Maybe not that. Maybe not the last two. But you know what I mean? It's fucking bad news as fuck. I haven't even looked into the rest because, like, I mean, fuck it all, not... You didn't come here to fucking learn fuck all, did you? That's not what this is about. But, I do have to say, I'm not one of these crazy cunts. I don't fucking like Monster. I don't like how it tastes. I don't like how it makes me crash. I just fucking... I'm not going to deal with that. Now... I am not, where is she, I am not one of these crazy bitches, devil, there's monster energy, oh, here she is, right, the, the audio's gonna be pretty fucking bad, I'll see if I can sort it out later, apologies in advance, yeah, we'll have it right here. Look at your M closely. There's a gap right here in the letter M. It's never connected. So you go into Hebrew. The letter Vav is also the number six. Short top, long tail. Short top, long tail. You could have here in Hebrew 666 on the can. But my interest is the word monster. What do you see in the O? There's a cross. Okay. What has Christ got to do with an energy drink, let alone the name Monster? So I thought, well, maybe this is a Christian company then. BFC at the bottom of the can. Do you know what that stands for? That's the F word. Big can. In fact, they write it on the side of the can, so I know that's the F word. Okay. Now, do you know what a MILF is? Yes. That's on the box. <laughs> MILFs, dig it, and you will too. This is not a Christian company at all. So why would they have put a cross on the can? Here is the message. Antichrist. 666 in Hebrew. And then the Bible talks about the beast in Revelation. And look at Monster's ad. This is their stuff. You see these M's everywhere. Hats, t-shirts, bumper stickers. Is there another agenda here? If God can use people in product, so can Satan. No, I can't. And look at it this I can't way. Deal with her but I'm not that crazy. What the fuck? What is she talking about? What's she talking about? Right. Big fucking can. It is a big fucking can. Let's just look. Right? It's got fucking three and a half times your pantothenic acid. It's got fucking two and a half days with the niacin. It's going to make you fucking ill if you have two of them. This is a big can. This has five times the amount of a lot of the shit that you need. Or one of the things you need. All right, I lied. Forget that. But why the fuck? Yeah, it's a big can. There's fucking... There's three servings in this motherfucker. Like... Right, let's just, and it's the fucking, the Hebrew fucking, the Hebrew fucking six. Monster Energy Logo. Right? Because I think that this is actually just fucking clever as fuck advertising. There's got to be one with the fucking slogan on, aren't there? Massive cunts. Alright, there we go. There we fucking go. Unleash the beast. Yeah? Now, let's just let's just check this shit out. Bam. I actually love this artwork. But this is uh, the the number of the beast. You, you all know, 666 is the number of the beast. That's just fucking being clever. That's just a smart way to do things. Fucking, it's the devil. What the fuck are you talking about? 
Do I make a monster's claws? Also, the number 666. Nil. Even if the M was not the issue, you cannot deny that that is a cross. And what is witchcraft? When the cross. Fucking gibbering on about fucking MILFs, right? These, this is not a Christian company. What? How do you get two kids? How does anybody ever get two kids? Without making sweet, sweet love to a mother. Someone's done it. Someone's gonna have to have done that for you to have a fucking brother or a sister. What the fuck? Or an uncle. Mothers have been fucked for a long time. Pretty much forever. Potential mothers have always been fucked. Everyone's a motherfucker. What? What do you mean? How is that not Christian? You know what's not Christian? You know what's not fucking Christian? Oh. What's not Christian? The fucking... Were the Crusades Christian? Hold on. We're gonna do a history lesson now, bitches. Let's have a look at this shit. Rape and pillage is exactly what I was looking for. The noble quest. We're going history on your fucking dick asses. Do our Western minds reading on the Hollywood version of some shut up? Right, forget that shit. It's true that there were kings, there were knights, and there were kings, and there was a chivalric ideal, which is fucking pretty much bollocks, because all it was was that knights would rape motherfuckers like peasants and shit like that but they couldn't get away with it with fucking noble women because these motherfuckers had power or their man had power or their fucking father or some whoever it is husband father whatever they couldn't fucking rape them because shit had gone down they get fucking ruined so it's not really chivalry it's can i get away with fucking this bitch no no, you can't, you scumbag cunt. Aside from that, scumbag cunts. Uh, King Richard the Lionheart had a crusade leader who was incidentally one of the worst kings... Holy fucking shit. One of the worst kings England ever had. And was definitely a macho warrior, but it's pretty much where it ends. Right. Fucking Ricky, Ricky Lionhearted, was a cunt. He was like the fucking original Hitler motherfuckers. It was like... I don't know when he was around, fucking 1100, 1200 AD, some, some shit like that. But he fucking just got pissed off. He's like, fucking Christianity is the true way. I'm a massive cunt. And everyone's like, yeah, fair point, you are a cunt. Well, they, actually, they didn't. They did fuck all like that. He said, get your asses out there and kill the Jews. And they're like, everyone in London's just like, yeah, right. Yeah, so, sounds like legit. Sounds like a plan. Let's fucking, oi, 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 get oi, oi, oi. I don't know if it happened like that. But it was similar, definitely similar. But this motherfucker wanted the Muslims as well. He was just fucking. This is a generally bad dude on his fucking quest to retake the fucking Holy Land, which. I don't know. Fucking Jerusalem. Fucking. I don't know. And where that shit is. I don't know why I'm giving you a fucking history lesson. I don't know, dick. Right. Basically. The Crusades turned into campaigns of slaughter, rape, and pillage, and war, so the poor Jews in the way. Indeed, the Crusades marked the first large-scale European mob violence directed against Jews, which is going to become, unfortunately, the pattern for the next hundreds of few hundred years, is what I should say. The next hundreds of years. I don't know if that's right. The later pogroms are just going to be a repeat of this idea. No, I don't know what a pogrom is. You're on the internet. Fucking sort your shit, bro. But that's fucking true bollocks. Like, who is this bitch? Who is this bitch? What the fuck is wrong with her? Shut up, shut up, shut up. Motherfuckers, not fucking Christian. What the fuck is she talking about? She doesn't know what Christianity is, the crazy fucking bitch. Anyway, I've got shit to do. I've got fucking animes to fucking... No, mangas to plagiarise. So, that's all from me. Uh-oh, do you like... Do you like me pretending to teach you shit? 
let me know. Or don't. I don't give a fuck. Just sort your shit out. And be nice to yourselves. And don't be a cunt.